What? 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 Don't do that with all these securities. Don't do that with all these securities. Just do that out there. No, we do it right now. Yeah. We can do it. We can't do it. Come over here. Come over here. Let's do it. Come over here. surprised me with a last minute invitation to dinner. I love that about him. And when he has a free minute, he wants to spend his time with me. And I'm not sitting at home wondering where he is and what he's doing. How you doing? I'm good. I'm really happy. Like, I trust you. I feel really safe with you. These past four years, when I got back with Stevie, I never felt safe. I never felt that comfort. I told Mimi I have something to tell her, but I think she got a different idea of what's to come. But to be honest with you, I invited her to dinner so she won't go ballistic on me in public. So you said you had to tell me something. What is it? I'm anxious. Well, what I'm about to tell you is, is, is disturbing. Remember when we was coming back from the Bahamas and my bags got stolen? What I didn't tell you is that my camera was in that bag. Okay, and what? And everything we done on that camera has been exposed. What does this mean? We exposed. It's media takeout. Media takeout is the number one urban blog in the world. So everybody is seeing this. How come you didn't tell me the camera was in your bag that was stolen? I was trying to retrieve my bag so I you wouldn't find you out. Hey, like a month ago. Only thing we can do now is capitalize on the situation if it's out there already. One thing that this knockoff Stevie J is always worried about is working now with his sweet self. But you know what? This is my town, and I know where he at. So I'm gonna roll up on him, and I'm gonna settle something. Steven Jordan, what's up, man? You me. You know huh? what I'm You leaking pictures? What you doing over you here, You leaking pictures man? at the net? Nah, I don't leak pictures, my, my baby friend. mother, that's what you're doing? That's my woman now, man. Yeah. Why you worried about me? I'm not worried about her. I'm worried about my daughter, not her. Are you serious? You being a hypocrite. Ain't you the same one talking about you and Johnson got a sex tape? You, you couldn't get your sex tape picked up? We got ours picked up, you mad? You got you yours hating? picked up? How much you, you get? How much you got, a couple dollars? A lot of paper, baby. You got some <laughs> new socks, I see. A lot of paper, baby. You got some new socks. I got a whole new everything. You sold, you, you sold, you sold your soul for a couple hundred bands, I heard. A hundred bands? Yeah. I'm ready to loan you something. You can't loan me nothing. You ain't even got nothing. If I find that you leak those tapes, you're gonna have a mad? problem. So did you leak you them mad? or what? You did mad? you leak them? You mad, I'm with your woman. You shaking and I'm right see. now. Why you shaking I'm right shaking. now? I'm <laughs> shaking. I could get to you. Come on, stay. I'm right here. I could get right to you. I walk there, you walk here. Come All right, cool. On. What you going to do? Bitch ass. <laughs> you a whole ass. Hold on, let me go, let me go, let me go. Let me, go. Let me, right, go. Let me smack this. 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 Yeah, I see you. Listen, man, you don't I want none you. of this. I promise you. All that You're right. Miss I don't want none of that. Let's do it right now. I want to do it right now. They ain't let me go. Hey, I want to do it right now. Tell them to let you go. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, ho. Come on, ho. Let him go. I got you. I got you. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go, man. Just let this go, man. Let's get one in. Let's get one. Hey, listen. You ain't gonna do nothing. I Shut like up. you, man. I like Shut you, up. but don't go there. Not with me. A growing frenzy as people clamor 
to watch Mimi Faust and boyfriend Nico Smith go at it on tape. Mimi and Nico's hate has already reportedly surpassed Kim Kardashian's sex tape in popularity. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta star Mimi Faust is apparently the latest pseudo-celeb to be releasing a sex tape. And her partner in the adult video is her co-star boyfriend Nico Smith. Department stores across the nation owe Mimi a big thanks. Since the release of her sex tape, sales for shower rods have increased. We were dying with your shower rod Instagram video. What what inspired that? I do know Mimi, and I thought it was hilarious. So I was just being funny. I was like, how the hell did that shower rod hold her up? Our tape has been released. We're hit. We selling faster than Kim K and Ray J right now. Press releases through the roof, and right now we're about to sit down and do an exclusive interview with Vlad TV. The money's about to roll in like a roller coaster. We're rolling? All right, let's get to it. I'd literally been hiding out for the past 24 hours. All of the media attention around this tape release has been crazy. Everyone is talking about it. My phone has been ringing off the hook. All of the bloggers and all of the news entertainment outlets, they want to talk to us. And today is our first interview. I guess there's no turning back now. Mimi and Nico, what's the deal? Y'all are uh, really famous right now. Trending all over the world. Why did you two decide to film yourself having sex? This is something we do all the time. Oh yeah? Yeah, we like That's those. Good. No one ever would expect that Mimi Faust would have been intertwined with a sex tape. Mimi had presented herself as wholesome, you know, a good girl. Mm -hmm. So everybody was shocked. I wasn't sleeping with a stranger or someone off the street. I was making love to my man. I watched the sex tape that was commercially released. And my first question was, who's the cameraman? There was no cameraman. We had a camera on a tripod. That's and how handheld. we did it. And handheld. I mean, it looked like the camera was kind of moving around a little bit. You know, I saw all y'all's hands <laughs> in the shot. <laughs> As you can see, the camera's moving around right here. It's not, a, it's not a still shot. Okay. You see that? That's editing. You see that? That's what you call shaking the bathroom up. We shook the floor. You shook the floor. Hey. So there's no third person? No. Gotcha. It's more problems. The Mimi situation. She moved down to little boy with the big ass. The one with the boyfriend. The one with the boyfriend. Yes, the bitch got a sex tape with him. Have you seen this tape? I heard about the tape, but I didn't think it was true. Her long titties is down to here. Granny I boy! Know, I, you, you know, you oh, know no, you can't no, exaggerate. No. This homie made my life. OK, let's OK, OK, This whole made my life been living here for two, a year straight. Oh, but you know what she did to me. You know, I tried to tell her this is not the man. For her to turn on me and say, I'm not you, I'm not your friend, that hurt me. Watch this, You don't got it on the big screen, bitch. Let's get prepared. Production. They set it all up. Cause you know she was claiming they lost the tape. The bitch she didn't lose the tape. She sold the video. How was she gonna f him? That's her man, Why bitch. She didn't get somebody like Justin Bieber or somebody Justin more Bieber child that long titty. Her new name is Meat Mouth. Ooh, she didn't even get a wax. This is gross. Look, oh, and they kissed after that. Oh. Ah, I told her about that man, but she did not want to listen to me. Oh, I was stuff. her friend out of all of that, and now and look at what that. happened to her. <laughs> You sold your soul to the devil. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm gonna let God deal with that hope. How was your day? I mean, it was long, you know. I'm so exhausted from everything that's been going on. So I really, really ask my heart to heart with you. Um, what does it ask me anything? Great. <laughs> I've been getting hit up left and right about something on media takeout about you being married. Is there any truth, validity, anything to 
for this? Well, now that you asked the question, yes, there is. But something that I've been, I was gonna take to my grave with me. Yes, I am married. When I saw the media takeout article, I thought this can't possibly be true. But never in my wildest dreams did I think he would just sit here calm and say, yeah, I'm married. I'm so exhausted that I can't even cuss you like I want to. Being honest with you, that's the love <laughs> I got for you. That is not a price for me, I'm sorry. I went hard for this man, even when everyone was attacking him, discrediting him, and then he turns around and stabs me in the back? I feel like a fool. You didn't think at the time that you decided to be in a relationship with me that that is something that I should know? I wanted to tell you what I wanted to tell you. Which was never. Which was never. Never. <laughs> but I didn't lie to you. The question was never asked until now. You did at some point intend on getting a divorce. Absolutely. When? Not only is this idiot still married, but he can't even tell me when he's planning on getting a divorce. I'm just stunned and confused. I'm having a hard time even believing this conversation is really happening. What I decided to do hasn't affected us. I've been with you. I haven't been with her. I don't get it. Like, you want me to just, I don't know and what you want me to do. That's the point. You don't get it. It's my whole point. So you leaving? Yes, I am. You haven't even finished your wine yet. I haven't finished. We haven't finished talking. What else do you have to say to me? I want you to walk out of here with a different attitude. Let go. Just help me right now. I'm with I, you. I, it's me, you, and, you and, and your wife. I'm publicly with you. Well, that's what we're doing. And You're digging friends. yourself a hole. I would stop right now. Can we do dinner later? <laughs> ah. Why? Is we, this we, really we, happening right now? It is happening. We're, we're done talking. talking. All right now. and Jocelyn post marital birthday party. It's a lot of liquor, a lot of love, and a lot of sex. Happy birthday, Daddy. Okay, hey, yo, let's have a toast to Jocelyn and Stevie's birthday tonight. Happy hey, birthday. who's having a post marital birthday jam? Kind of chewy. Oh, baby. Yes, real. Congratulations. You're really married. Yeah. Are you happy? Yes. You are? Yeah. I don't know whether or not to believe whether these two are really married, but Mimi has her doubts, and Erica and I are here to find out if it's true. Y'all are really married. Yeah. We've been engaged for the second week. We met each other. Just nobody knew. So, two weeks. Yeah, we were talking about marriage like two weeks ago. Right. That's what's with me because it shouldn't. my friend was coming to me with some bullshit. I understand what your friend went through, yeah. but guess what? I love my husband, we're married, and that's what it is. Next subject. Guess what? I'm his wife, and maybe it's his baby mother. She's the past. So f you and your homegirl. When did y'all get married? We got married, what, July? The end of July? The end of July, you had no date? July 29th, yeah, we got married July 29th. Did this girl just have to think about the date that she got married? Who the hell forgets their wedding date just after a few months? Uh, I got a marriage certificate? Okay. Yes, we got yeah. What you mean? We got married. Okay. Michelle, I'm not gonna be lying about my own mother marriage. I got time for all that. And I'm gonna get back to my husband now. Y'all ready to get back over there with Stevie and Come on. I really don't give a what these bitches is saying about Jocelyn Hernandez and my marriage, because for real bitches, y'all hoes don't pay my bills. I know you invited Erin, but before I knock that hoe out, and her friend, <laughs> Tell that bitch to stay out your business. Checking me about our wedding day. Why is this bitch so concerned? That's just all I want to know. Why is she so don't concerned? Worry about it. Let's just have fun. And you better check the bitch. Because if you don't check her, I'm gonna check her my goddamn right. self. Tell so that bitch don't be so concerned about my mother so wedding and my mother heart. Yo, Z, I appreciate you taking the time out, you know, to have Jeez, me and Jocelyn man. coming here. Josh. I mean, She's working, she's working real hard at this. Look at she, she wants to show you her dope. pictures. You're looking beautiful too. Now nah, you've been doing your thing. 
You know what? My husband is so sexy to me when he's handling business. I can't wait to sit down with Mencino and just give him my, all my ideas and just finally get this big spread on Hip Hop Weekly. I'm just excited. That's the cover right That's there. It. I mean. That's I the biggest that was, seller right there. Well, I thought that was one of our biggest sellers. Yeah, one of them. You know, they want to follow, they wanna follow us. I'm kind of excited that Sleaze and Jocelyn are happy, but I'm about to slap that happy right out their face once I tell them about my meeting with me, me, and Dawn. I just want to bring up something. Okay. Right? No problem. All right. Dawn called me. I had a little meeting with somebody about... Well, Dawn? Just, 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 just Dawn explain. by herself? No. Uh, that's what was crazy. It was like... It was her Mimi. Rose and Blanche from the Golden Girls? All right, just you know, hold on, just give me a minute. Talk. Let me explain what happened. When they came in, they brought the cover, they threw it down, they said, we know that they're not married. Now, what I said wow. was, no, hold it. Of course, you know, come on, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sticking up Absolutely. to you. If there's no question. Absolutely. I'm, I'm like, well, listen, Sleaze said they're married, so we did the cover based on that. Well, I know they're not married, they need to prove it. And I'm like, listen, we are all good. It. So now Dawn has got Mimi caught up in all this nonsense. They spreading lies about me and my wife. Yo, that's not a good look. Both of these old broads, these old hags need to go to the bingo hall and sit down somewhere, because I ain't got time for their lies or the accusations. Don and Mimi ain't never been well, friends their whole they life. They brought, and, and now they all of a sudden it's messages and all kinds of God. And they're like, we're, we're gonna listen. bring this to the blogs. And I'm like, whether they married, if they're we not, married. if they are, oh, I said that. But you well, must, you must like what they bring into the. Only because they're must... talking about going at Hip Hop Weekly we and the credibility of the Hip Hop horses. Weekly is here to stay, baby. My man, my business partner, is sitting here with his wife, and they're just as surprised as I am. So, yo, as far as I'm concerned, if Slee says he's married, he's married. Just know that these people are gonna always be on y'all's asses to prove the marriage. Listen. They owe and they tie, and they ain't got else to do but worry about my marriage, worry about what the I got going on. We gonna live this where it's at, and I'm ready to go. I don't give a damn about these tired ass bitches and their lives. Mimi the porn star need to go worry about her porn tape. And Don, you need to worry about going to find you another job. Cause right now you have no job. Right now, you're broke. You bring them hoes up to me one more time, and you and I are gonna have a problem. It's all good. You have a great day. All right. That's what you call a ass. <laughs> Everybody here, it's nothing but love. We are very humbled by this. Believe that. God bless all y'all. We gonna continue this. Absolutely. Me and Sleazo worked real hard just so we can have everything ready on time. But we did it. It's hype. I'm feeling good. Smelling good. I mean, this is our night tonight. You like it? I like it. This is the night. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. fan. And you know what? He supports us, so we support him. Benzino. No, 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 no. Dizzy, no! I don't know, no, I, I mean, Don't ask, you know, trick, you know. Don't but you ask. know what? I can't fight. I like small Oh, I do. Whatever floats your boat. It's a motion out of ocean. I was, you know, I like small things. Zeno and I, we've had our moments. But no matter what, we're still friends. And I'm really proud of what Stevie and him have pulled off. And of course, I'm looking forward to seeing his new chick and seeing how she compares to Carly Red. Hey, Carly. Hey, hey. This is Althea. Right, that's Carly, and that's Erica. Right, nice, nice to meet you. Me. Right. Okay, she's all right. Oh, no, she's not all right. Nothing will ever compare to this package. This is so weird. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> why? But yeah. Well, no, you know why? You know why? Honestly, I'm used to seeing Carly and Benzino. But you know what, though? We're all adults. Yes, we are. everybody has a past. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're dating, you're dating someone, too, right? You got a new boo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. young Jack. Yeah. Now, now you, you had changed your telephone number. Does she have your new telephone number? Yes. I have every when number. When you had, when you had every it, number. Any number. Any and every number. No, number. But, but babe, that was the whole purpose of you changing the phone number was because they should go through me. Jocelyn just warned me about Carly. There should be no reason why this chick should be calling my man. And I'm going to shut her down before there's even a problem. Did you tell somebody that you was missing the or something like that? Missing a who? Missing the <laughs> The only I'm missing is my man's. Oh, okay. That is a <laughs> to miss. You oh, trust me, girl. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Where'd you get that from, by the way? I heard that you said that you was missing the for that. Because oh, Kurt told that. me. Where's Kurt? Let me go get Kurt. I'm going to go get Kurt. Yo, where's Kurt? This <laughs> Kirk got all twisted. Now I got to straighten out two people. This bitch, Alf, and lying ass Kirk. So play the up, man. Play the up. 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 Listen to D. Play it up. You saw some shit. Like this right here. She said she want to be back in C's presence. Oh! I said I'm 
missing it. Oh. Which one is it? Oh. But not that I'm so. missing it. So, boo boo, you got it wrong. Okay. I will never miss it. I don't gotta miss it. This misses me. He don't miss you. He don't miss you, baby. It's a wrap. It's over. Let that bitch know that I'm crazy. I'm Benzino and his trifling ass girlfriend must have lost their damn minds. First, this bitch throws a drink on Carly. Well, hold up. Did that bitch throw a drink at me? Oh, hell yeah. Now you better remove my ass out of this club before I wipe the floor with this hoe and shut this club down. Get off of me! Get the off me! Don't talk to me! Leave it to Carly Red to start some <laughs> At least Zeno had enough sense to kick her ass to the curb. I'm sitting in the VIP, drinking my champagne, being sexy, watching the whole party go on. All I see is bitches flying out the door, wigs flying in the air. Of course, Bencino's new girl is in the middle of everything. Bitch, I don't know who you think you are, but this is a family business. Either Bencino check you or Jocelyn Hernandez will check you. Got Just got a text message from Benzino oh. stating he couldn't make it. He said he wanted to apologize, wants to be spending more time with wow. Athea. She's a singer or something like that, I yeah, think yeah, she's Yeah, I know a... Athea. That's my leftovers. She don't went from me to the bus driver, Stevie. Whoa, 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 whoa. She loving the crew? Hold on. Now, I already knew this trick was a problem from the grand opening, but I didn't know she was being passed around the crew like that. Wait till I tell Carly. I told you that you, me and her. Yeah, I knew had, about that situation. So they just passed her along. I mean, I, I don't know if, if Benzino know. I don't know, but she making her rounds. She ain't, sent, she ain't letting him know that she was with Stevie? I she slept with the bus driver? How long ago was that? Was he in a relationship with Jocelyn? Yes. I don't run with Althea, and I don't know what Benzino knows, but I do know what I saw with my own two eyes, and there was definitely something going on with Althea and Stevie J. He asked me to drop the baby off. I go to the house. I'm knocking on the door. The lights are off. He finally comes to the door. He half dressed. I see her half naked on the couch. And are you serious? My baby calling her by her first name. So it wasn't the first time. Yeah, the first time. Yeah. She saw her. I got. I gotta say something. She contacted me a couple of times. <gasps> As Althea was blowing my phone up, it felt like she wanted to reconnect with me on another level, something a little more than just music. I mean, I'm just saying. She contacted me on the phone. She got my number. Yeah, we got mutual friends. She got my number. She wanted to do something. She wanted to get all the information. Yeah, get all the information. She knew I was in town. I'm thinking I know everything there is to know about Nico and Althea, and now I find out they're still in contact. I thought their relationship was in the past. What the hell do they still have to talk about? Well, you know what? Enough of the hoes, the animals. Stay away from her. Good wow. to know. I know, right? Good to know. <laughs> I got a little situation, a little dilemma, man. You know, how we value our families and our loved ones, and I gotta be honest with you. You know, Zeno's my bro, and he about to get married, and the chick he marrying, I know the part. Like, like Noah. Like, I mean. I know what you mean when you say you know her. I wore it. Yeah, you wore it for a night. And I did it at Zeno Crib. Oh my God. That's right, when it comes down to it, I smashed Shorty. I've been keeping it from Jocelyn, and I haven't admitted to Zeno, but it's just something that happened in the past. But if I'm gonna stand next to Z when he gets married, maybe I need to come clean. Well, you gotta let him know before he tied a knot that well, she is part of the collection. She kind of told him, but then I was just like, I ain't want to get in the middle of it, because I ain't tell Jocelyn. Now that's what a problem going to be at. That's what a real problem going to be. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Snoop. Yeah. I I've been holding it back from everybody because I didn't want to hurt him, nor I didn't want to hurt my baby. You know what I'm saying? So now it's to the point where I got to come clean with myself. Yeah, because everybody going to be hurt the minute if it get out. She going to trip. Well, you know what's going to work? If you tell her first. That makes sense. Yeah, you tell so her. I gotta her. tell her tonight, then. Yeah, you gotta tell her tonight. I hurt Jocelyn so much, I just don't wanna hurt her no more. The truth hurts, but it's better when it comes from you. 
And you gotta let my niece know what's up. You gotta tell her tonight. You gotta keep it 100 with her. She gonna respect that. Unfortunately, Snoop is 100% right. I'm not looking forward to this right here. Hey, do your son got one of them helmets for me? Cause yeah, I'm like, you gonna need a helmet. Yeah. Well, maybe you wanna tell her when the group of people is around. Yeah, maybe walking out of the court building or something. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? Yep, we taping. It's crazy. It's 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 it. Everything is times ten. I got you. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. No matter what, just know that. And this is real, this is like sincere talk. Let's know if you got to know each other, some split, and you can get mad at you. Just know you better know to still love each other. Them motherfuckers gonna stick together. Do not. He's, he's, he's. Listen, listen. She be fing them in his ass. That's why they stick together. I know. Protect your home, boo. I got you. Protect your home. I got you. Okay, here we go, everybody. Let's get in our positions, please. It's hot. You know AC in this joint? And I got to pee again by the time y'all start. OK. Let me know when it starts. It's a nice joint with no AC. <laughs> That's that cocaine. That's what that is. AC. That's that coke. And we're back with more from our cast on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, The Reunion. What? 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 Don't do that with all these securities. Don't do that with all these securities. Just do that out there. No, we do it right now. Yep. We can do it. We can't right do it. Right, so come over here. Come over here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come over here. Let's do it. Let's get off. What you cocaine? What you cocaine? Yeah. Yeah. Let me. No. No. Get off me. No. 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 Go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let go. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Man, get off me. Get my car. I got you, baby. Get my car. Get the off me. Get my car. Just a short while ago, some of our cast members got into a physical altercation and the situation spiraled out of control. We had to release our audience and secure the stage. Even the police were called. Despite all the drama you see on TV, Love & Hip Hop does not condone the violence that results when the cast decides to take matters into their own hands. We did not expect things to escalate the way they did or as quickly. Just hours before the reunion show, Stevie J and Benzino went back and forth on Twitter in a serious war of words. Last night, Stevie J posted a very compromising picture of Althea. Then this morning, Benzino tweeted that Stevie J and Jocelyn were not really married and that he claimed to have proof. And that's where things were left before they saw each other for the first time right here on the stage. your coffees. Can I get you guys anything else? What's your name again? Samantha. Yeah, I need some napkins. I've seen you somewhere before? No. On your face? I don't know. OK. <laughs> so you got them dimples going? Thank you. Yeah, this is some napkins. That's how you want to run. Do you know her? Nah, I thought I knew her face from somewhere. You been here before? I ain't never been here before, Carly. You sure about that? Wait, can we talk about why we're here? 
We're supposed to be going over plans for the house that Jock put an offer on. But instead, he over here flirting with the waitress. I know he's charming, but I think it's disrespectful for him to do that in front of my face. It's just one of those things we're gonna have to work on when we move in together. I really, really like this house. It's like 6,000 square feet. How did you find this house? My realtor, Kadir, KD. Isn't that the same girl that drove us on a trip together? Yeah. The same girl that was at your video shoot? Yeah. She's driving, and then the next day she a realtor, and the next day she at your video shoot. This girl Kadia is everywhere. She's always up under jock. Now she's showing him houses when I'm not around. I have a feeling something ain't right. I gotta keep an eye on that one. I'm trying to figure out, cause I mean, do Carla, you do? know Kadia. She do everything? She's a go-getter. Are you her? No, I'm not with Carla, come on. Kadia, she a friend of mine. She's definitely multi-talented. So look, the one thing that I really like about the crib, they got a nice studio. But you want to do the music? Mm -hmm. Speaking of the music, I found this record. You found a record? A friend of mine, she wanted to pin some hooks for me. I was like, let me hear some stuff. So she was playing some songs that I really was liking, but this one record, it's called Heartbreaker. And a girl brought you this record. I'm not having a sexual relationship with her. But I want you to hear the record. It kind of puts me in the mind of us a little, you know what I'm saying? It's talking about breakups and the breakup to makeup type record. Oh, I, I like the you. makeup part. I'm sure you do. Studio time already booked. So we're not going to do it in the house? We ain't even moved in the house. I'm, we need to get this I'm, done now. All right, cool. So I, I booked the session already. I think you're going to do good. OK. I cannot wait to start working with Jock. We've been talking about this for a while. So what are we doing about this crib? Look at that. That's a jacuzzi. You know what we're doing now. So that means you're coming home to me? Of course. What's it mean? I'm just asking. And you don't trust me? As far as I can throw you. I want to help regain your trust. As long as you come home to me, we good. Listen. As long as you buy by my rules. You know your little five-foot rule? Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind. And rule number two? Mm -hmm. No. Repeat after me. No. No. Being? Being? Messy. Messy. What you think? Sound like it. <laughs> I think you just need to take your time, like, just breathe. OK. Like, come from your diaphragm. You want to use your whole breath. Deeper. He's sexy. Jeremiah is sexy. And it felt really good to have his hands touching on this Carly Red. The name of the song is called Heartbreakers. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you the inspiration behind this song? No, I don't break hearts. What you do? I save them. You save hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate Jeremiah's help. I know I'm being a little flirty. I'm just having some fun. And my gut tells me Jock got some mess going on. I'm not sure what, but it definitely feels good to get some attention from a man that's not trying to hustle me. When you coming back? I so. OK. You mad? Yes, I'm what? mad. I don't want you to go. I got to go, though. I know. All right, thanks. Appreciate that. Meant a lot. What's good? What up, family? Oh, how are you? Oh, Chuck, this is Jeremiah. Uh, yeah, I'm good. What's up? I'm chilling, bro. Bye. All right, bro. Thank you for helping me. Appreciate that. Good luck. OK. What's all that? What you mean? What you mean? What's all that? All that extra face-to-face -face talking and the... You good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, she I'm good, good bro. You ain't got to ask if she good. She good. 100. <laughs> I'm not paying you no attention. Yeah, don't pay me no attention. What's all that, though? I'm here working. You call that working? Oh, yeah. He was helping me with the track, mm -hmm. the song, face -face, everything. Face to face, all that close <sighs> It's yeah. five feet rude. I walk in, this standing right in your face. He was Extra helping close. me. I know he in town. And I know you've been out with him a few times. No, straight up. <laughs> I already know what it is. But I don't Whatever. come at you sideways the way you come at me. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I'm working. All that shit in that song, that shit fits you very well. That's why I picked yeah. the song for your ass. And I'm working. Why is Jeremiah all in your face? Because if you all in his face, then apparently oh, so that's you what you can, want. So you can eat shots off a bitch's <laughs> stomach and Club. Oh, now you Just, trying to have a good time in the yeah. club. You call it what you want to call it. Y'all nasty. With that hell dude looking like Show no kiss my Whatever. Kiss rocks, oh bitch. wow, yeah, yeah, that's right. Get, get out of I, my session. I get out your session. Thank you. Bye. Hey, let me tell you Bow. something. No, don't this tell is me. Different. Get the out. Different. You can't put get me. The I choose to leave. Then you talking about moving in with get you. The you out. ain't gotta worry about none of that. Get you the out. Get the out. Now how the hell Carly gonna come at me like I'm the bad guy? I picked out the songwriter, the song, the producer. I booked the session. I'm just a little late, but then I walk in the studio. You got Jeremiah all up in your face. How you do that? Like, the idea of me and Carly moving in this house together, it's dead.
Last time I saw Jack, we both said a lot of hurtful things. I really hope he accepts my apology. But at this point, I don't even know if he's going to show up. Thank you for coming. I mean, I agreed to meet with Carly, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't stop her from calling my phone. Dog, nah, she blew my phone up. She hit my phone like 115 times. From what I saw in that studio, the relationship like a pair of flea market Giuseppe's. Squash, wrap, done, out the door. It's good. Well, um, first of all, thank you for coming. Can I have your hands, please? You ain't for my hand in the studio. No, I don't want to do that. Talk to me. Look, we here. Seriously. I need to fix our personal relationship. I don't want to upset you. You're going to make me no, Stop touching me. I just want to say, um, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I should have never did that. And it won't happen again. I just, I, I, I kind of did to make you jealous. OK. Well, I ain't going to say jealous, but you definitely pissed me off. Babe, I want another chance. You got to give me another chance, baby. Right. I, Tell I, me why I got to give you another chance. Think of all the great times we've had oh. together. Think of all the good things we got together. Oh, Lord, no. Do you you should have been thinking about all the good times and the great things we had together. How you gonna get me to think about it? I thought about it. That's, that's why I've been rocking with you like that. I know. But I care, baby, and I want this to work. You <laughs> want to work, but you doing crazy It's clear. Saying sorry is not enough here. But Carly Red, she got a few tricks up her sleeve. I want to make it up to you. You want to make it up to how are you supposed to do that? By my actions. Sound good. Every night. Oh, every night. You crazy. You crazy. I'm convinced. You crazy. Like, I supposed to just be just ready to get, get into it right here, right now in public. Like, suicide that shit. Man, Carly be wild out here. Unfortunately, she know my weaknesses. And I just, I, I. <laughs> well, you always say that I'm the best you ever had. That's a check, please. <laughs> Jack and I are finally back on track after some amazing makeup sex and I promise not to be messy. So today, I finally get to see the house he's so excited about. The only bad thing is, Jack's friend Kadia is the one showing us the house. Please act right, Carla. Nope. Thank you. Jack swears nothing's going on between them. Maybe he's telling the truth. But trust, I got my eye on this hoe. Hey, welcome back. What's up, baby? How are y'all? All right. So today we're going to view a five-bedroom, six-bath, fully finished basement property. Uh, the property is actually over 7,500 square feet, and I'm really excited for you to see it. I think it could be a great fit. All right, let's go. OK. <laughs> Wait a minute. Aren't you the driver that drove us to Alabama? Oh. And aren't you the stylist and the tax preparer? Yes, actually, I am. I wear a number of professional hats. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to put these two women together. But I love the house. And it's Kadia's property. And I'm hoping Carla will be on the best behavior. All right. Like I said, we have a grand 12-foot door for your entryway, route iron staircase, with actually a catwalk across the second floor so that you can overlook from upstairs into this great two-story family room. So what do you think so far? Cool. What, what, what's that's the kitchen that way? Yeah, let's proceed this way and go look into the okay. gourmet chef kitchen, which is actually excellent for entertaining, especially if you cook. Call it the keeping area. This is the keeping room right here oh, to your right. right. <laughs> can we have sex on this mm -hmm. countertop? Yeah, of course we can. Mm -hmm. If that's what you feel like doing. This house seems all right, but I can barely focus because I'm so distracted by this chick. Something just don't feel right. And you know, Carly Red will get to the bottom of things fast. Any questions or concerns at this point? 
the sound system? Did it have like the speakers throughout? I didn't see none of it that. It does. If you actually look back this way, it's okay. fully wired. If you don't mind, baby, you know, I'll be liking them. Just move yeah. throughout. Let me go check okay. the house. And, uh, you know, I'll just be back in a minute. I'll be right here. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, babe. Do you have any questions or concerns about yes, the Yes, I have a question. Okay. Are you my man? Have we had sexual relations before? Is that what you're asking? <sighs> Monica Lewinsky, check this out. I'm just asking you, are you my man or not? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I know my man gets around, and so do you. The only person I get around with is your man. So you my man. I absolutely am, every night. Bitch! Oh, oh. What's up, boo? You good? We're good. Boy, listen, I'm over there getting a drink. I see baby mama walk up on me. You know, Arab. Buy something? Hell no, nah, she wanna buy something. She's with Carly. Carly here? Carly is here. Is that over there? They had the bar right now talking Like, you just look. You feel me to your wrist naive? Can I look over my shoulder? Uh, you looking, you feel me? So, at the end of the day, you my brother from another. But I'm gonna be about this bitch, you feel me? I'm gonna move like the clouds. You know what I mean? You know what I, mean? huh? I just feel like, you know, need to handle some other shit, Naive. Mm. Before the Miss Naive, old Miss Naive. You feel me? Gotcha. But I love you. Do your thing. Love you, man. Lady. Good to see you. Same here for Y'all know. Hey, man, listen. Take care. Respect is love, baby. I can't believe this mother Can you believe him? I mean, I don't put nothing past the man. He told me he was out of town. He said he had to go handle some business. He ain't out of town. I mean, oh, well, he obviously he's not out of town because did he here with another female? But, but wait, look at this chick. That's female? that bitch. Remember the bitch I was telling y'all about? Yes. That's Miss Piggy. Oh, oh, he killed no, himself, so let's no, go. Bitch, I'm about to f him up. Jock motherfucking ass tells me he's out of town. Then I come to an event with my girl Erica, and he's with the fing same Miss Piggy that I told him not to see me with. I'm about to put my foot in both of their asses. Hi, Andrew. Got it, got it. Oh, I'm West. I, I am busted. What has happened? Oh my God, you just busted me. Oh, I am so caught in the wrong here. How the hell do you go from here to a fat bitch? Cut all that out, cause she ain't even fat. The bitch can't even fit her outfit. You are an idiot. I'm a cool guy, but if this girl don't stop taking shots at me right now, and KD, it's finna be a problem. I'ma go there. Walk away? I ain't walking away. You don't want me to do this. No, I want you to do this. Come on. You, you know that tell tummy you know what? on me, that fat bitch. No wonder you came home smelling like Cologne. Really? This mother smell like hey, smell like a dumbass brow. If people with me after my cologne smell like Do you really want me to do this? Doc, you gotta do it with me in the club, not out the what? club, you dumb mother Doc's been smashing this chick all along and just been lying in my face. Do not cross me. I don't need that in my life. Come on now. You know you've been diagnosed Doc, with autism. Yeah, whatever. It's over for us. I see you jumping for in it is so over because I can have any men I want. Really? Oh, you don't know this? You Erica. ain't watching social media? Erica! They don't Erica! With, you. with that pimento cream cheese coming up whatever, out of Whatever, whatever. Nah, come on now. <laughs> whatever. Go about your bin. You don't want this. Ain't nobody listening to you, mother. <laughs> Tell her, Tommy. So, Carly, during this season, you guys had a lot of up and down in your relationship. <laughs> so, where's the relationship right now? There is no relationship. I have nothing to do with a man that's just gonna straight disrespect me. Why couldn't you be faithful to her? All right, so it's real simple. The whole situation when her and I broke up, okay. that's when I started seeing Kadia. Jock has been cheating on me from day one. But you were kind of looking a little friendly with Jeremiah, too. Yeah. Yeah, I hung out with him in the weekend. Oh. Doesn't mean that we did anything. When I was in the studio with Jeremiah, it was more of a, I want Jock to see, look, somebody else is checking me out. That's what I'm it just was. keeping it 100 That's with you. As a matter of fact, we have a surprise guest that we would like to bring out right now. Please welcome to the stage Young Jock's realtor slash accountant slash side chick. Don't even come out on that. Go back. Hell no, nah, you ain't finna introduce her to no side chick. Get it right. So she's your woman? Is you, she your woman? Come on, reintroduce. Here we go. That ain't cool. Now, please welcome to the stage Jock's realtor slash accountant slash woman, 
Kadir. Side check. Welcome to the stage. I said it. Hi, Kadir. Hello. How are you? You look mm-hmm. wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I respect that. Yeah. When did you and Young Jack start sleeping together? Jack and I have been friends and business associates for years. When things started to go really bad with Carly, he came to talk to me quite a bit. And I just kind of checked the lady out to see what I thought about her. Honestly, I, at that point in time, I said, if you like it, I love it, whatever. I don't, it ain't right for you, though. So, Jack, were you sleeping with Carly and Kadia at the same time? Not at the same time. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't at the same time. I mean, how could I be with her? every night at when I was with period, her some nights. No, when it happened, I wasn't right there to defend that <laughs> I was in another room, so when I walked in, I still didn't know what happened. <laughs> I didn't know what happened until I talked to her later and saw the actual episode, I was like, oh, you said every night. Like, I mean, <laughs> she pissed off, she said it, that was. Women say <laughs> just like men do, so. If that's the case, <laughs> then why did he still deal with me? Hold on, because, because Oh no, you know he you? did still deal yes, with you. Yes, he did. Oh no, yes, we, saw he did. You, we saw you stalking us after the relationship oh, was over. I'm, yes, after I'm the gonna relationship find out was over. if my man is we cheating on me. And, and we every had to woman can contest out of the to that three times. That if because you couldn't yes, get my out of your crazy rare reality and come back to real mother. If my man is telling me I'm not cheating on you and he is cheating on me, I'm sorry. I'm going to go through hell high water and I'm going to find the f*** out if he's cheating on me or not. I don't know what he was telling you, no. but he was telling me he wasn't seeing nobody. He told me he wasn't seeing you and we were still having sex. So I don't know what was going on. And uh-huh. yes, he still had the keys to my house. And yes, he was coming in and out as he pleased. He didn't treat me like a side chick. You understand why she is still in the way yes, she's I can. Can. Yes, we are human. And I understand, when I first started dealing with Carly, I was very skeptical. That first three months, it was cool. But it was a point when Carly became physically abusive to me, and that's what... Physically I, abusive? Yeah, and that's, I ain't with that shit. My fingers... Neither the hell the am same, I. The same finger <laughs> that's, that she sucked on TV, this finger fractured. I that's right. I did it. She's standing over me on the bed, holding my phone. Yep. <laughs> she was like, who is this bitch? And I was like... I sure did. I was like, Carly, what you doing? Why, why you standing over me like this? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you think I'm stupid? I seen everything. I know everything. I went through your whole phone. And I was like, Carly, what are you doing? I'm like, man, get off me. She was like, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm like, dude, she was like, I ain't going nowhere. And she threw the <laughs> So when I tried to get off the bed, Carly just ran and just jumped off the bed like this. <laughs> man, so we on the floor like this. Stop playing. Uh, Stop playing. Oh, my God, I can't. <laughs> But, oh, true. but I snatched the phone. Hey, okay, I tried to I go back to the bed. She grabbed my that's finger. That's right. If you my man, I'm going to go hard for you. It was in my hand. She grabbed, <laughs> my, she grabbed my finger. And I'm like, Carly. I'm like, damn, she's strong as a mother This <laughs> you. And that shit, I let that shit go. And it ain't been right. And then, <laughs> and then oh. after that, literally, as I'm throwing him out, he's like, please don't kick, don't kick me out. Don't, he didn't want to leave. He didn't want to leave. And guess what happened? We had sex. Wow. Oh. What a life. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hey, tonight, you know, it's my G-Day, and I'm turning 30, 30. This ain't no small accomplishment coming from a dude from the A. Get it. Can I get your attention? I want to thank everybody for coming out for my son's 30th birthday. He gonna take his rightful place on the throne. So, I want you to come and taste this cake that the palace have prepared for you. And come on, Bambi, come on and feed it to him. Feed it to him. Oh, hey, I can feed yes, him the cake. yes. Oh, wow, give it up. Wow, yeah. Man, I invited all my folk to come out and show me some love, Charlie. And you never know who's gonna come out and see you, boy. Hey, what's up? What's Happy birthday. How you what's doing? What's going on with you? Nothing much. Just here. You looking fly? I appreciate it. Okay. Where's, um, where's everybody else at? Bam. And yeah, my mom is over there. Where? Seems like some eggs in the basket. He got bitches at his neck all day, every day. But what bitch is that? I have no idea who she is. So but what am I? She's going to kiss her. She must want to work for me. Come mm-hmm. on. Now that the Bambi and I have become allies, it's time for me to teach her the facts of life. Now she's pretty enough, but is she strong enough? I think it's time to find out. Seems like your eggs got oh, legs. Wow. And as I can see, some ass. <laughs> Whoa. This is Bam. Hi, how are you? My lady. This is my friend, Erica. I'm sorry to hear about everything that happened. What, what, what's everything that happened? You know, what happened with the pregnancy. I'm sorry about that. You told her? Why would you be telling her my personal business? No, it was like uh, some friendly type. How long have you been knowing her to be telling her my personal business, though? No, I mean, just a minute. I mean, you know, 
you know, I told him when we, when we met. But I'm saying, like, who the is she to be knowing my business? Well, you told me everything, you though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I called both of you here today because what you bitches did at my <laughs> son's birthday party, and believe me, don't take it the wrong way, but it was his 30th birthday party. So I was down with the Bambi, but the picket lady seems to love my son also. We'll see where my allegiance lies at the end of this meeting. So what I want you to do is to hashtag this bullshit. You have to understand that with me, I had a miscarriage myself. Right. So you have to understand Bambi's position. What position was that? Let me get to it. And Bambi, you have to understand Erica's position. She don't have a position. OK. She might don't that you think, but no, she, she do. I swear to God, I told that son of mine to get some goddamn control over me. So off now, Lubin no, Hill. no, 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 no. Come back here, you come back out. Okay. There's no doubt that Scrappy has a lot of history with his baby mama, Erica. And even though we thought their relationship ended last season, there seems to still be a whole lot of chemistry between them. Let's watch. You look good. Thank you. I see you. I see you. Let <laughs> <laughs> me see you turn around a little bit. Oh, you want to touch it, you can just touch it. Like, don't, don't act. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Bambi, how did it make you feel seeing uh, Scrappy with his baby mama? I mean, it makes me feel like Scrappy is Scrappy. Like, I, everybody don't gotta take everybody all that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're dating, we have great times together, but I ain't trying to marry this <laughs> Like, is that not okay? trying to get married. Like, <laughs> like, is that cool, though? Like, you know I what I'm saying? Like, we like, have a like, great I time. Should, I should be able to see my baby mama how you don't have a conversation. It shouldn't be like that. You feel me? But you cool. touched her ass. You licked your finger first and then playful. touched her ass. It was real playful. That was That's cool. what you got? Playful. Well, let's pull another card. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Let's, when, let's when pull you another said, card. Let's pull another card. Let's pull another card. Where was you just with me last week, Scrappy? Where was you? What's this? Baby mamas what can be side chicks, too. too. What do you have there? Let's just see. Just tell me what that say. Where we was? OK. We were at the La Meridian Hotel. Who, who was you oh. And you what? Scrappy, what do you say about this? When I say about that? I think that's your real name on there. When I say about this, I think I'm going to tell you what I say about this. We sat right at the bar. We sat at the bar the whole time. Up. OK. We got tow up. We went up there, saw the went to sleep, and I left. So you didn't <laughs> before you left? <laughs> no. And I put that on my daughter, because I put okay. that on God. My well, we ain't gonna, like, we ain't going to bring the baby yeah, and God into it. Bring me the motherfucking Bible. I bring agree. me the motherfucking Bible. I and if you lie on the Bible. Can we, can we get a lie to take the test? Can we get a lie detector test? Okay, can we let's get a lie detector test then. Can okay, we, we take get a lie detector test for that? I will, yeah, take, I will, I will put can my hand on the Bible. It? No, this no, we don't want a Bible. We want a lie detector test. This is not a federal investigation. You period. Unless, unless the judge tell me I got to take one, that's the only time I I'll take one. You feel me? I'll be answering each question truthfully with just saying yes or no. Very calmly, the test has now begun. Is this the year 2014? Yes. Do they call you Scrappy? Yes. In the last month, did you perform oral sex on Erica Dixon? No. Did you answer each question on this test truthfully? Yes. And we're back. 
Now, earlier in the show, Scrappy was asked to take a lie detector test about if he was still hooking up with Erica Dixon. Scrappy, you said no on the stage, but once we were backstage, you agreed to do so. So the results are in. Are you, are you ready? Sorry. Scrappy, you were asked if you performed oral sex on Erica Dixon in the last month. You answered no. The lie detector test shows that you were not telling the truth. Oh, <clears throat> oh my God. Thank gosh. you. I am just so disappointed. So, wow. <laughs> you said a month, right? You said a month. In the last month. Yes, it's been about two weeks. Wow. Oh. I don't recall that. I don't recall that. <laughs> you don't recall coming to my house, us outside playing Uno. I remember that. Drinking to, what, two, three in the morning. We had a conversation, went back in the house, watched movies on the sofa. I dozed off, you woke me up, you pulled my pants down, and you proceeded to what? Don't remember mm. that. So what happened to the hotel? You really gonna lie? What are you talking See, about? See, the hotel was that. last week. That's the receipt. Yeah. Oh, the hotel last was last week. week. So we hooked up two weeks before that, and then we was at the hotel. I don't remember that. Scrappy, that you don't happen. recall none of this. That didn't trust them lie detectors. Huh? Can't I don't trust them lie detectors. how do you, what do you say about this? <laughs> Just makes me feel like, you know, there's always gonna be this misperception it's a double, of... It's a double it, standard. It, it definitely is a double standard because if I do it, I'm a side chick. But if she do it, she just the baby mama. I haven't slept with Scrappy in over a year. Mm -hmm. So this is something that just happened in the midst of us drinking, being there, but I stopped it before it went any further <laughs> for side chicks. So... I don't have any evidence that Rashida ever stepped out on me, but I see so many guys being attracted to Rashida, and I don't even know if she can handle all that pressure. <laughs> I love Carter, but he looks nothing like me. He's light-skinned, I'm dark-skinned. Everybody says it looked like Rashida spit him out. How can I not be worth it? Get mad at me, but since your mean ass granny says you have her genes and daddy feels a certain kind of way, I'm checking. But I love you anyway. But I'm checking something. Okay. This DNA test is just something I gotta do for me. I'm already in love with Carter to the fullest, so if the test came back and it wasn't my son, I would totally be destroyed at this point. Rashida would need to move to another f***ing planet. You ready, man? Girl. I mean, it's a little chilly, but I'm enjoying myself, so. Yeah, my <laughs> I told you you was gonna have a good time. I'm not mad at you right Turn now. Time. I'm having a good time so far in New Orleans now. Carly then got us on a horse and buggy, which is amazing. It's a little chilly out. You are like slapping when you're drinking. But you know, we got the drinks flowing to keep us warmed up in this thing. Oh, that be mommy. Hello, mother. How you doing? Good, how are you enjoying myself in the N.O.? Oh, you know, it's there. All right. Um, it hurt how a little fat. Really? You know, we just had a conversation, and then, you know, he, he broke out with, um, he had a DNA test. What? Yeah. You talking about, like, DNA tastes like with Carter? Mm -hmm. You are lying. I, I mean, I was just shocked. <laughs> so. This fool, Kurt, did a DNA test with Carter behind my back? What the f the crazy part about some like that is like a DNA test. Are you serious? I knew Kurt was questionable about this baby from the start, but after all this time, I thought we had moved past that. So how dare you question my loyalty? You on some total disrespectful. I'm over it and I'm over Kirk. Kirk, like, your ass is the one with the infidelity problem. I really want to jump off this horse, ride this bitch back to Atlanta, and stab his ass with a sword. That's really what I feel like. Like, regardless of how rocky the road get, you don't step outside of your marriage. Not me, not me. Yeah, I lost his damn mind. I just didn't understand why he I'm sitting here and I don't believe what I'm hearing. Rashida hasn't done anything to make him believe she's doing something on the side. Kirk is just an ass. Well, I'm glad you told me. And I just want to give you a heads up on what's going on in your house when you come home. I love you. All right, love you. Good. Okay. All right, bye. Every time I turn around, it's always some.
Now I want to call up my homeboy, man. Kurt Frost, man, come up here and grab this mic, man. I think this party's a cute idea. It would give Kirk a chance to apologize for the whole last year of his life. Ja couldn't make it, but believe me, I would have him doing the same thing and more. Shirley, you know, I know you got your daughter's best interest at heart. You know, I do love you, but I want the old Shirley back. I broke your shade, so here, real quick. These is Prada glasses. So here, just oh pour it. Yeah. All right, All right. Mm -hmm. cool. I'll make sure that. <laughs> See? Thank you. So I'm waiting for that bike to pop up. <laughs> so I guess I'm not getting my bike from Charlene today. That's cool. You know, all my trouble started with my wife when I went to this cabin for a fishing trip with Bobby V and Benzino, and they got girls and strip poker and liquor and all this crap. I'm apologizing for all of those problems I caused, and I'm glad that they here so they can take some of the damn blame. Benzino was like, come with me, we going fishing. And that joint <laughs> don't got me in so much trouble. But I'm like, yo. We love you, Kurt. You know what I'm saying? I love you too, man. I'm just happy to be here. I mean, I promise you, it wasn't my fault. But I was there, guilty by association, I know. I just want to make sure Rashida doesn't have any issues with me. You know what I'm saying? I want to move past that. It's all love, baby. I really was going to do this joint like uh, a few weeks back. And you getting shot and everything. Oh, I was like, nah, yeah. I can't even do it without Z's. Let's hold tight. So I'm glad you're here. You're my brother, saying? you know what I'm saying? You we know good. That. I love you. So I'm happy to be here at the apology party. I mean, I'm happy to be recuperating. I'm happy to be standing with my friends. And maybe I can make amends with Rashida and her mom about my part in the cabin situation. You know, I didn't know that I had to say sorry, too. I thought this was a Kurt sorry party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you sorry. I went with I you. Didn't, <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be a bunch of girls up there. That, I'm going to have to put that on Bobby. You know what I'm saying? Really? <laughs> Bobby, you need to probably come up here and Say a little sorry. If I'm gonna say sorry, then we all should say sorry. Because one thing I can say is that I can only ho hope that me and Titi can be as strong as Kurt and Rashida to go as long as they have. So Rashida, I wanna apologize to you. It wasn't probably the proper thing to do to bring him up there. So I just wanna apologize. And if there's anybody else I have to apologize, then y'all let me know and I'll just send them emails. <laughs> Hopefully, this will put an end to all the beef that Rashida has with Benzino. But today is just all about Rashida. She's the one that I hurt, and I'm hoping that this apology put an end to all the BS. Rashida, real quick, I got a, a, a quick gift for you. You know, I know I stumbled and I did DNA tests. I don't did a lot of stuff. At the end of the day, I'm just saying I'm sorry. I love you. I ain't trying to hurt you. But this is a heart, and I brought you this like a long time ago, and you lost it, and I just want to replace it. So I, this is really like my heart, so it could be by your heart. So. Aww. That was sweet. That was so just sweet. Yeah. Let's go, Kurt. Thank you. And I need, I need this other thing to come over here real what quick. What you talking about? And she's beautiful. She's black and white. Give me a hug. That was, I love you, I love you. Oh. Let's go, Kurt. Yeah. T. Rivera is finally here. My clothing line, my baby, is launching. I didn't want to do a traditional fashion show. I wanted to bring New York Fashion Week to Atlanta, and I decided to do a fashion presentation. Like, I like this, I like that, I like this, I like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey. I appreciate y'all coming out. Thank, Thank you for inviting us. Tea Rivera Fashion Show is like a dream come true to Tammy. I cannot make her as happy as T. Rivera Fashion can. Like, that's her husband, if you ask me. I just want to thank everybody for coming out, just checking out my line. It took me a long time, and it's been a stressful process, but it has come together. I also want to thank my family and my friends who came from so far away just to see. And I'm going to cry. And I want to thank my future husband just for supporting me and never giving up on me, even though I ain't never give up on you. And I should. <laughs> Seeing Tammy get emotional, you know, it just it make you it make you appreciate appreciate your woman. Like she's really into what she's doing. 
My time has come to show everyone what I can do. My family has came from all over. There's my friends here, and Waka, he's here from off the road. The fashion show is not the only reason Waka's here. He's waiting for his answer. He wanna know whether or not we're gonna elope. And it's a lot going on, but I'm ready to have this discussion. It's such a great night, why not talk about it right now? I wanna say thank you for supporting me. Yes. And being my backbone in everything I do. But you did this by yourself. I did it by myself, but I had your support. To have somebody that you know have your back if you fall, you know what I'm saying? That's real. And I've also been thinking. Why, what you been thinking about? <laughs> what you been thinking about? Let's go ahead and eat low. Oh, so we're going to the car? Let's do it. If Tammy's happy, the woman of my house, I don't have to have no conversation with no one about marriage, about no wedding. That's it, point blank period, I'm getting married. So you're married right now, huh? Let's get married right now. I love Waka, and we've been through so much together. It's been a long time, and I know everyone's gonna be mad about us getting married, but I'm ready. You may now kiss your bride. Hey, yo, it's Safari, listen. Thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe, click it, there's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer it!